Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Chris back at it again with another video for you guys. Had to do another voiceover because once again, the audio on this is crazy. So I'm going to do a real Yami noob style. Shout out to Yami. Uh, shout out to all the Moto Vlog YouTubers out there. Um, this is going to be a dope uh, story time that I'm going to tell. So this story time is way back when your boy was living out in New York, Brooklyn to be exact. Um, I was on the track team. If y'all know some fun fact about me, uh, I used to be on, I used to run track track and field in high school and college. I believe this story was back when I was in high school. Yes. Um, I'm a little fuzzy on if it was indoor season or outdoor season or like cross country or whatever. Um, I think it was an outdoor meet because I'm pretty sure it was nice outside considering I was walking outside and had a bandana on. So I'm, I'm going to assume it was still nice. So it could have been cross country like before it got cold in September right after Labor Day also. Uh, but I was wearing my Beijing flag. If y'all don't know, Be Beijing is like Barbados. So if you're from, it's like it's a Caribbean island located um, not too far from Trinidad in South America. So big ups, big ups to my Caribbean people out there. Um, so, you know, I was just, I had, so I had my bandana, I had my bandana roll. Like I was a big fan back then of like Dipset, of course. And Joel Santana was like my favorite member on that. So, you know, I had it rolled up like I was Santana. I, and, um, I was just cruising down the street, so I, I I lived by the Brooklyn College, and you know it's the last stop to Junction on the two train. So and you know I had to I live a little ways from there, so you know I had to hop on the bus usually, but usually when you get on the bus over there, you know it takes it usually takes a little while. So sometimes I just like to walk, and you know some when a long when you have a long train ride, you know, and on the MTA trains you don't have phone signals, so. Uh, I think I was like on the phone with like maybe like one of my cousins or um, like a girl I was talking to at the time. And uh, it was just good conversation. And back then, you know, I had this real dope um, beat studio beats. It was like the Yao Ming beats. Oh, man, they were fire. I used to get compliments on it all the time. I think I sold them, actually. But yeah, I had the red. They were like red and gold and they had like Yao Ming signature or something like that or his logo or something like that. It was fire. Um, and, you know, that was when um, Beats by Dre was real popular, too. So, yeah, I had those on and um, had those over in my head while I was, like, on the phone. So I was just talking on the phone with those big studio headphones. And um, so I'm walking down the street, you know, talking, talking. And, you know, you know, you got to have situational awareness when you're walking in New York and stuff. So, um, you know, I, I already peeped some rough looking dudes like across the street from me, uh, maybe like a couple blocks back. Um, and, you know, I feel like I heard like yelling or something behind me. So, you know, some somehow I just, you know, ended the conversation on the phone. Uh, so I could kind of, you know, I was just like, hey, Blase Blase, let me call you back when I get to the crib or whatever. So I take the headphones off. I take the headphones off now and like I turn around, I see like a mom. It must have been maybe like six or seven dudes, like maybe like 20 to 30 feet behind me. And, you know, they're like, they're like, you're, you know, you hit that Europe. So I'm looking at them like, yo, do I know them? Like, nah, I didn't recognize none of them. You know, no, they don't look like anybody I would associate with. And, you know, where I live, there's like a couple different projects around me. So there's like the Glenwood projects and um, the Vanderveer projects. So like I'm I'm living in between those, but you know my neighborhood is pretty nice. Like it's like suburban, but you know it's one of those neighborhoods you go a couple blocks one way or other way. You know shit changes. You feel me? So um, yeah, so I'm just walking. You know they like you're so in New York, you already know the tall tale signs. If anybody's like you're Yo, come here. 
yo, what size sneakers you wearing, anything like that, like, you're bugging. You, you, you got to get out of there. So, um, like, you're you going to get robbed. Like, they're trying to rob you or whoop, beat you up, you know, snuff you, whatever. So he hit me with the, yo, you're, yo, come here. Like, a real aggressive, like, come here. Like, you're, yo, hey, yo, come here. So I'm like, so I'm like, nah. And then, you know, the, sh- the shortest one in the group, he was standing in the front. Um, and he was just kind of like trying to run up on me a little bit. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, okay, so just to give you an idea of what else I had on. I had on like my running shoes still. Um, I had on my running shoes. My uniform was all blue. And, you know, the Beijing flag is blue and yellow, so I don't know if they thought I was, like, cripping or something. I don't know what they thought, or maybe they were blood. I don't know what the deal with them were, but... So, uh, whatever the reason why they picked me that day um, is beknownst to me. So, he starts running up on me. I'm looking at him like, bro, you really think you're about to catch me right now? I'm in, like, full jogging stuff. Like, I'm ready to go. So, like... You know, adrenaline kicks in. So, you know, I'm not about to sit there and fight these fools. Like, I'm going to get washed. So I I duck down a block. I'm weaving in between cars. You know, I'm sprinting. I'm sprinting at this point. And, you know, I'm ducking behind, like, neighborhoods, like, houses. And, like, um, you know, obviously they're not they not catching me. So, So, But, you know, I just had to be sure, like, nobody was, like, in a whip. Like, nobody was about to jump in a car and try to follow me or whatever. Like, I didn't really know who was with them and, like, how many of them were there. You know, at this point, I'm just trying to... I'm running for my life and not to get beat up. Like, at this point in high school, I I had a couple people, a couple of my teammates and friends and stuff get jumped or whatever and had to go to the hospital. So I wasn't trying to be that kid. So... Um, sprinting through there. I don't see nobody behind me no more. So I'm taking the long route back home now. So I'm like going like three blocks out away from my house just to make sure nobody's following me. I'm looking over my shoulder, all that. And then I go, then, you know, I take the long way home. I make it home safely. And I'm just like, damn, I really almost got beat up. Like I could have got beat up just now. So at that point, you know, I'm just, Praising Allah, praising the Lord that I made it home safely. And I made to see another day. And, you know, I learned a valuable lesson that day. You know, like I said, situational awareness. And, you know, when you in public, you know, don't have your, make sure you have your head on the swivel. Pay attention to your environment. Um, you know, if you're going to have headphones in or the, you know, Apple AirPods in, you know, don't have your music too loud so you can still hear what's going on around you. Because anything can happen, y'all. And, you know, I could have been, you don't know if they were planning on killing somebody, stabbing me. You don't know what. So, you know, I just thank God for, you know, him watching over me and keeping me safe that day. Or else I wouldn't be here telling y'all this story. All right. Appreciate y'all. Well, that's the story, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And this once again, it's your boy, Chris. Back with story time, and I'm out.